most of us in our today life uh, for the moment but maybe one time uh, society will develop itself without any money it's completely possible and i believe that uh, but my approach is that i learn to the people how to do it they can make by themselves the pyramids with local copper wire uh, they can make by themselves magnetic antennas for in their soil with uh, magnets beeswax uh, wires i learned how to do it in workshops and on videos on internet and on articles uh, but it's like uh, it's like a guy that make pottery you can learn it but you can also buy pottery to him you see it's it's uh, but the the knowledge is shared but everybody can can also if he want to do it by himself he can do it huh? but we live together it's, it's why we live together in society is that everybody also will do other things what he likes one will like to do pyramids so he will make a lot of pyramids for everybody and another likes to grow vegetables so he will grow vegetables and we will exchange uh, uh, but and you can also if you don't have money you can also exchange products with me it's completely possible if i have the use for it um, uh, or we can exchange service too huh? but it, it's not uh, i don't have secrets because of that because i want to uh, contribute to a society without secrets and without uh, yes without secrets and and, and without all the problems that uh, uh, comes from uh, secrets in our economy um, because when you say secrets then you have lies then you have liars then you have manipulators then you have all those things uh, we have to go out of of that uh, box uh, um, yeah so so i'm uh, I'm in the approach of learning somebody to fish if he is hungry. We can give one or two fish uh, temporarily, but it's more important to learn him to fish and also learn him to make his, uh, his fishing line. <laughs> but if he want to buy a fishing line to me, no problem, I have some, you see? <laughs> and we can exchange some fish for fishing line if he wants. So uh, I do that with certain vegetable growers. They give me vegetables and I give them a pyramid or, or something else. Uh, we, we can uh, uh, do it like that too. So it's, it's um, uh, you, you see the, the important, I would be very happy even if you don't buy me anything, is that use a pyramid experiment with it you will see you will have amazing results i observe that almost everybody that use really pyramids they become a better person <laughs> i believe that because it's not possible in the other way you when you go a lot in pyramids you become more in contact with your intuition with your subconscious mind and so you become more in sharing and you become more um, more more you become more respectful too because you don't feel so disconnected to everything when you feel connected to everything automatically you will you will uh, help each other even uh, more <laughs> i think so a pyramid can help for that in our today culture we like a lot when you see documentaries, it's about pyramids, it's most cases about the archaeological mysteries about pyramid. It's interesting, but that's not very practical. And that's, that's only a story, because maybe it's true, maybe it's not. We don't know, it's just a mystery. And, uh, and, but what, what I found very interesting is how to use it and what we can do today with it. And that is very amazing. And I think the pyramids hold knowledge that can transform our complete world in a better place. And, and with very easy applications like uh, uh, increase the energy of your seas or meditate in pyramids or just use it to harmonize the energies in your home. So you see there are different ways to use it that can 
in, that ma that can make a better place of where you live and 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 like that uh, the whole planet Earth. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>